S All right, our note for today, analyze data or recognize patterns, and our do, find the measures of central tendency from stem and leaf plots. So first we're going to look at these, measures of central tendency. What are those? Well, we have several of them here, mean, median, mode, and range. And first we're going to look at mean. What does it mean? Mean is basically an average. So if we just took a slew of data here, here I have just a bunch of different numbers. And, well, what do you think these numbers are? Teachers' IQs? No, they aren't that. Turns out, maybe some of the football players recognize these numbers. These are the margins of victory for the state champs this year. So game one of the year, they beat Highland Park by 53 Next game is 55-27, all the way to the state championship game, which was 5. So we're going to look at this data uh, as we look through these measures of central tendency. If you add all of these 13 scores up, they add up to 320 points. So all in all, we had won by 320 points this year. If you take that and divide it by the 13 games we played, you get 24.6 points per game. So that ends up being the mean margin of victory for the team. So there was mean. Now we're going to look at median. Median is basically the middle. So let's take that same data and what we want to do is we need to put it in some kind of order. So what I'm going to do is put them in a stem and leaf plot. That's what this is called. Here you can see we have these called, they call these the stems and the leaves will actually go in this area right here. Now, you might wonder what all these numbers mean, 35, you don't see a 35 up there. Well, what that actually means, the 53 goes right here, 53. 27, 27. And last example here, 8. The number 8 just goes 08. So as you can see, all 13 scores are in this stem and leaf plot. And if we are to find the median, we need to count all the way to the middle. So what we can do is go 1, 1, 2, 2. And you keep going like this, counting all the way toward the middle. And eventually, you come to a score like that. All right? So it turns out our median is 24. If you remember, the average is 24.6. Uh, so these are pretty close. All right? The median and the mean were pretty close. So that was mean and median. Next, mode. Mode is just the one that occurs the most. So for this data, uh, as you can see, there are actually no repeaters. The football team never won by the same amount of points uh, more than once. So there's actually no mode with this data, which is obviously sad. Let's say for a minute that we won by 19 twice. Then 19 would have been our mode. But as you can see, we never actually won by the same score twice. So there's the first three, and one left, range. Range is pretty simple. It's just the biggest minus the smallest. So if we look at that same data, what's the biggest? 55, smallest is one, only won one game by one. And the range is obviously 54. So now we're on to problem one. They have given us some data here about city one and city two, and these are uh, how many stories are in their high-rise buildings? All right. As you can see, City 1 has 27 buildings that are high-rise. City 2 has only 24. And we ask, what is the difference of the medians? So here's kind of a little spoiler alert. If you don't want to hear the answer, pause now. All right. Turns out the median of the first building is 40. The median of the second one is 38 so obviously the difference is 2 all right and the correct answer is a here's problem 2 and this time they give us some math test scores all right the first class here are their tours their tours class 2 here's their sketched tours and uh, we are going to actually do the same thing what is the difference of the medians so here's another spoiler if you don't want to hear it, 
pause now. All right, here we go. Turns out the median of class one is 78. The median of class two is 74. I'm not sure which one it is. It must be one of those two, and over here must be one of those two. And obviously, again, difference. We're just wanting to subtract. And obviously, the correct answer is D.